a framework that gets all the information required for a great render right in the first step. It goes through all the parameters that are required for a great render like lighting, camera, aspect ratios, what sort of character, composition and angle and you just have to answer in terms of A, B, C, D and it would generate all the prompts in one go and generate the images for you. Let's take a look at it in action. In this first experiment, I asked it to create a channel banner for my Mr. Beast kids channel. So first question it has asked me for the palette. So I'll just paste the HSL values that I like. These are the HSL values from Mr. Beast logo. And then I'll just go on with a comma and select one of these options like daylight. Then since it's a kids channel, I'll select cartoonish. It will reiterate my choices and based on that create four custom instructions that would go to Dali. So as you can see, it has given me four really cool renders for the Mr. Beast channel. And I really like the third one. So I'll just tell it that I like number three and it will give me three options to enhance it and twist it in a different manner. It has given me one to enhance and uprez. Second one at twist. Do you want some creative changes? And finalize if you are satisfied numbers we provide you final version to download. So I'll give you, I'll ask it for some twists. So based on that it will suggest some new twist in the same image that I liked. So I'll ask it to change the season from sunny to something like snowy. And let's see how that changes. With this prompt, I don't have to think much about what to change. It would give me an option and I would have to simply select it or I can even suggest what I want. So as you can see, number one has become consistent in terms of theme and it has just changed the design number three. Let's move on to the seven micro tips I learned while experimenting with DALI. First one, you can simply paste color values in terms of HSL. As you can see here, I have put given HSL values to ChatGPT and it was able to recognize the tint and shade of that. You can restate the same words in order to have consistent theme. In this example, I forgot to add that the theme has to be constant and then it generated a different image. You can even incorporate this aspect in custom instruction. But in the next step, I asked it to make it dark mode and restated the background color was in the same theme and color. So you just have to be very verbal in terms of Dali. Second, you can use chat GPT vision for prompting. I asked put a random illustration in there and asked it to describe it for Dali. And then after that, it was a long description. So I shortened it with this prompt, create a Dali prompt for this image. And it, you'll, you just have to simply copy paste. Use clean vector lines. This phrase is a game changer for vector illustration. The one on the left hand side was generated by Dali. I thought it was because of low resolution. I even upscaled it with other AI tools, but I was still getting this sort of artifacts. Then I prompted ChatGPT to have clean vector lines and it generated a vector like this. With same resolution, it was very cleaner. So that is a game changer. You can even have keywords like that to enhance your render. Your downloads folder is a mess. You can use this video to know how to organize it with AI and I will see you in the next one.